Hi there, in this video I'm going to talk about the allowance for doubtful accounts where I briefly explain the journal entries for the allowance, then how to create the allowance whether from the sales amount or from the accounts receivable, and finally I have two brief examples to show you how to practice. First of all, how to create the allowance for doubtful accounts? We usually debit bad debt expense credit allowance for doubtful accounts. The allowance account is a contra asset where we put it in the asset by minus. Then if we decide to write off any amount, we debit the allowance and credit accounts receivable. If the uncollectible amounts turn to be collected, then we reverse the write-off journal where we debit accounts receivable credit allowance and we debit cash credit accounts receivable. So this is in brief the cycle of the journals. And now, what are the methods we can use it to create the allowance? First of all, we can use the annual sales. And if we decide to use the annual sales, we need to ignore the prior balance in the account of the allowance. Or we might use accounts receivable. And in this case, we have to consider the prior balance of the allowance. If the prior balance is debit, we add it to the new amount. If it's a credit, we subtract it from the new amount. And let us look at one example here where we have sales of 500,000. The estimated uncollectible amount is 1.25%. And now we have two prior balance, one credit for 300 and debit for 500. And as you can tell that if we use annual sales, we must ignore the prior balance. So we take the percentage from the sales like this. So we multiply 500 times 1.25, we get 6,250. And here we ignore the prior balance. So we debit bad debt expense, credit allowance for doubtful accounts by 6,250. If we decide to use the accounts receivable, then we have to consider the prior balance. So we have 75,000 here. 8% uncollectible, and then we have two balances, credit for 300 and debit for 500. So for the credit, we need to subtract it from the prior balance. So we multiply 75,000 times 8% equals 6,000, minus the credit balance 300 equal 5,700, and we do the journal entry for that amount. So we debit bad debt expense, credit allowance by 5,700. If we use the debit balance, then we add it to the prior balance. So it's going to be 6,000 plus 500 equals 6,500. And then we put the same journal, except the amount will be debit. Now, how about the amount itself for the accounts receivable? We might get the accounts receivable aging schedule and we need to calculate the allowance from that period. So here we have accounts receivable from different due dates. First, not due, so the estimated uncollectible amount could be 2%. Then from 1 to 30 due, where the balance could be 4%. 31 to 60, the estimated uncollectible 10%. 61 to 90, 20% over 90, 40%. So what we usually do, we get the total sales multiplied by those percentage, and we get these two. So this will be the amount that needs to be recorded, and then we consider either the debit or the credit balance. Let us have one exercise to show you how we record it. So in this example, we have a credit balance which means we need to subtract it. So a credit balance here of 400, which you can read it in the first line. And then we have some due balances from the accounts receivable with estimated percentage uncollectible percentage. So what shall we do here? The instruction, we need to prepare the adjusting entry on December 31st to recognize the bad debt expense. 
So first of all, we need to take the percentages multiplied by the amounts to get these two things. So now the estimated uncollectible amount, 6,170, plus we have 600 balance, sorry, 400 balance, so we subtract it. So we get the new balance, 5,770, where we debit bad debt expense, credit allowance. How about B? Because if you read B here, it says we have debit balance of 400. In this case, we need to add it. So we debit bad debt expense by the total, 6,570, credit allowance by the same amount. Let us look at another example. So here we have on December 31st, the allowance had a credit balance, which means we need to subtract it for 1500 Needs company estimates 7% of its accounts receivable of 95000 will be uncollectible. On March 3rd, we have Leeds company determined that there is an account of 950 will be uncollectible. And on May 15, the customer turned out to pay. So let us look at the journals here on December 1st, 31st. To create the allowance, we debit bad debt expense, credit allowance. And remember here, because the balance was credit, we subtract. Then on March 3rd, to write off the account, we debit allowance credit accounts receivable by 950. But the customer returned back on May 15 and he paid. So first we reverse the write off journal and then we credit the collection. So this is in brief the meaning of the allowance, how to create the allowance, how to journalize the allowance, how to use the two methods of the allowance, whether from sales, where we ignore the prior balance or accounts receivable, where we subtract the credit balance or add the debit balance. Thank you.